ピザグルマ。ピザグルマ is a technique of supporting your opponent's knee with your foot as you throw. As your opponent tries to step forward, place the sole of your foot on his knee. Your opponent will turn and fall in a twisting motion. Pisa Guruma performed after transferring your right hand from his left lapel to mid sleeve. Another method where your opponent's knee is bent. Step forward. Execute the technique as if trying to bend your opponent's knee. He then falls in a twisting motion. Sasae Tsurikomiyashi. Sasae Tsurikomiyashi is executed by putting the sole of your foot on your opponent's ankle and throwing with that as the fulcrum. This is when your opponent has stepped forward. This is when you first lightly slap the inside of your opponent's left foot before executing the technique. The aim of this is to destroy your opponent's balance toward the tip of his right foot as you slap his foot from inside. Sasae Tsurikomiyashi made to look like O Sotogari. When O Sotogari is executed, your opponent defends by moving his weight forward in reaction. Turn your body at that moment, support with your foot as you throw. Harai Tsuri Komiyashi. In Harai Tsuri Komiyashi, you can throw your opponent by a sweeping blow to the rear of his foot. Here, the right foot of the opponent is swept away as he tries to retreat, and then he's thrown. You slap at the inside of the foot of your opponent as he tries to retreat to destroy his balance towards the tip of his right foot, then sweep him off his feet. Let's compare these two techniques. In Sasae Tsurikomiyashi, you support your opponent's foot as you throw. In Harai Tsurikomiyashi, you slap at your opponent's feet as you make your throw. Sasae and Harai are similar in form, but are different in that one has the Sasaeru or supporting motion, whereas the other has the Harai Ageru or sweeping motion. Note how it differs from Sasae Tsurikomiyashi. You need to sweep him forward. Yeah, she
支払い。In De Ashiharai, you sweep away one of your opponent's feet that's moved forward. When your opponent steps forward with his right foot, you open up with your right and sweep using your left foot. Here you sweep the retreating right foot of the opponent who's trying to move back. Here you lead your opponent around and sweep his right foot as he steps forward. There are various ways to apply the ashiharai. Here you sweep your opponent's right foot from under him just as his weight is shifting to his right foot. This is a deashiharai applied to counter your opponent's kochigari. Okuri Ashiharai is a technique where you sweep away both of your opponent's feet as you throw him. You lead your opponent around and sweep away both his feet. In Okuri Ashiharai, you sweep away both your opponent's feet as they're together. Okuri Ashiharai performed in two steps. You step in and sweep away the retreating foot of your opponent. Let's compare similar techniques. In Okuri Ashiharai, you sweep away both your opponent's feet together. In De Ashiharai, you sweep away your opponent's foot as he steps forward. In Harai Tsurikomiyashi, you sweep away your opponent's foot as it retreats towards the far corner. We decide the technique used according to these criteria. Tsubame Gaeshi. Tsubame Gaeshi is a technique of throwing your opponent by reversing his foot sweep into your own. Shift directly to your right or left. If your opponent attacks with De Ashiharai or Okuri Ashiharai, you dodge it and turn it into Tsubame Gaeshi. Even when moving back, you can also do likewise. Kosotogari. Changing your opponent's Taiotoshi into Kosotogari. Dodging your opponent's Taiotoshi make him off balance, standing on both his heels, then cut him down in the direction of his toes using the back of your feet. Your foot will be placed on roughly the same line as your opponent's. 
When you're clipping, you should do so from your opponent's heels, in the direction of his toes, as if rubbing the surface of the mat. Your opponent should fall suddenly on the spot. Kosoto Gake Kosoto Gake is a technique of throwing your opponent in a kind of pulling up motion. Sometimes the sole of the foot, at other times the leg is used for clipping. As the opponent withdraws his left foot, shifting his weight onto his other foot, you make him fall, hooking with your leg. You first try an uchimata, then the moment your opponent tries to defend himself, leaning backward, you turn it into kosotogake. Here you take hold of the rear collar to bring your opponent in close, push him back to go off balance, then hook and make him fall. Now let's see the differences between similar techniques. In Kosotogari, you step in close to the side of your opponent, make him lose balance on his heel and clip him down. In Deashi Harai, the moment your opponent's foot is about to touch the mat, or when his foot is about to be lifted off the mat, you sweep his foot away to make him fall. In Kosotogake, you make your opponent lose his balance by making him stand on his heels as you face him directly. Clip as if to pull your opponent up and backwards as you throw him. Sotogari. Pull the right leg of your opponent out, then clip him down the moment it touches the mat. Pull his left leg out and cut down on his right leg. Also to gari from a harai tsurikomiyashi. As your opponent advances to defend himself, cut down on his right leg. Here you push your opponent's elbow to make him lose balance and cut him down to the rear.
外落とし。In all sort of otoshi, you press your leg against your opponent's thigh from behind to make him fall on his back. An all sort of otoshi applied while holding your opponent's neck. With also to otoshi, you press your leg down against your opponent's thigh from behind to make him fall backwards. Osoto Guruma. In Osoto Guruma, you begin your throw as in Osoto Gari, but cut both your opponent's legs as you twist him down. Sometimes it's done in two movements. In a variation of this, you step behind both your opponent's legs with your right leg and make him fall, as in Taiyotoshi. Or Soto Gaeshi. As your opponent steps in trying to execute Osoto Gari, you instead cut him down at that moment using the same throw. Here, the opponent's Osoto Gari is returned after a short delay. As you defend yourself against your opponent's Osoto Gari by pulling back your right foot, You counter with an osotogari. As you defend against your opponent's osotogari by pulling back your left foot, you counter as if in osotogaishi. Another example where an opportunity to counter came still later. Guruma. All Guruma is a technique where you make your throw by turning your opponent around your leg as an axis. Placing your leg near the lower abdomen of your opponent to use as an axis, you turn him around and throw. Oguruma was one of the favorite techniques of the 10th Dan, Kyuzo Mifune. He's captured the moment his opponent tries to step forward on his right foot. Ashiguruma.
in Ashiguruma, you place your foot on your opponent's knee and throw with that as an axis. It's the same principle as Hizaguruma. Here an Osotogari is followed by Ashiguruma. First you execute Osotogari. When your opponent responds by withdrawing his left foot, you follow with Ashiguruma. Uchimata. Here you jump in to make your throw the moment your opponent withdraws his foot and touches the mat. Pull your opponent forward to make him assume Jigotai, or a self-defense position, then jump in and apply Uchimata just as he raises himself. This is a method generally known as Ken Ken Uchimata. You sweep with your left leg to destroy your opponent's balance and throw. First you make a move, as in performing Ouchigari. Then it's transformed into Uchimata. In this situation, the objective is to cause your opponent to open up his legs and lean forward off balance. If your opponent defends himself by going down on one knee, he's still judged to be standing and the Uchimata is recognized. Let's look at some examples of Uchimata. Uchimata Gaishi In Uchimata Gaishi, when your opponent attacks with Uchimata, you counter by cutting back on his pivotal foot. Ouchigari. Pull your opponent's foot forward, then just as he tries to put his weight on that foot, clip his foot and make him fall. Here the opponent is pulled in close, then clipped the moment he tries to rise up.
Here, when the opponent tries to get away by raising his foot, he's pushed forward and cut down off balance. Here, his leg is grabbed as you clip. Ochigaishi Ochigaishi is a technique of countering your opponent's Ochigari with an Ochigari of your own. There are two ways of countering. One is to clip the foot that's clipping you, and the other is to clip your opponent's pivotal foot. Here the opponent's foot is clipped back as he tries to clip you. Here you counter by clipping both your opponent's attacking foot as well as his pivotal foot at the same time. Dodge your opponent's Ochigari and counter with a twisting motion. This is also Ochigaishi. Use your opponent's force to return the attack by twisting to the right. First dodging your opponent's Ochigari, then throwing and twisting to your left. Ochigari. In Kochigari, you pull your opponent's foot forward, then you clip just as his foot comes down on the mat. In this instance, you cut down on the retreating foot of your opponent. Here, Kochigari is performed by pulling the opponent off sideways, and here you cause your opponent to open his feet wide and clip after subduing his defense. Another method is to clip holding one of your opponent's feet. You may sometimes turn around once as you take hold of your opponent's foot and make him fall. This is a Kochigari. Kochigari applied with good timing.
He countered his opponent's uranage with a kochigari. Japan's Okada has a distinctive style of kochigari, using his heel to reap his opponent's foot. The IJF name for this particular kochigari is kochi makikomi. Hane goshi gaeshi. There are two ways of performing hane goshi gaeshi. One is a leg technique, whereby you reap the pivotal foot of your opponent, and another is a hip technique of pushing up with the hip and twisting before countering. At times, you hold the opponent's waist and reap your opponent's pivotal foot. With your hip, you bounce your opponent up in a large motion, then throw, twisting with both hands. When bouncing your opponent with your hip, you may at times simultaneously sweep upwards using your leg. Harai Goshi Gaeshi. In Harai Goshi Gaeshi, you counter by reaping your opponent's pivotal foot for executing Harai Goshi. Just as your opponent attacks with Harai Goshi, you counter by extending your hips, then reap his pivotal foot to make him fall. The technique you use in countering, holding your opponent's hips, is also Harai Goshi Gaeshi. Here the opponent's hips are being held, but as the counter action is reaping his pivotal foot, it's not Ushiro Goshi. Ushiro Goshi is a technique where you raise your opponent up, holding him by the hip and letting him fall. <laughs> 